Hello, little unicorns. This is lesson 5.4, medians and centroids, and today is going to be an epic lesson because I'm actually doing my first lesson from my own home. That's right, I usually record in the class, and I'm in my own apartment, and let me tell you, I'm looking around, it's pretty cool. So today's objective is for students to be able to understand what the median and a centroid of a triangle is. So let's just jump right into that. Well, what is the median of a triangle? A median of a triangle is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. All right, vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now we talked about mid segments last lesson and that was when you joined two midpoints. This time we're talking about a median which joins a vertex over here at B, which is the angle, to the opposite side and the midpoint of the opposite side, which would be D. So if BD is a median of the triangle, well, we know that D must be the midpoint, and then we also know that AD must be congruent to DC, because as we learned, a midpoint splits a line into two congruent parts. So AD is congruent to DC. That's fact number one. What is a median? The second one is a centroid, which I think sounds pretty cool because it sounds like a robot or, you know, something like a robot. I, robots are cool. Anyway, the point, what a centroid is, the point where three medians of a triangle intersect. So if we know that BD, AF, and EC are all medians, G would be the centroid because this is the point where these three medians intersect. Now here's the interesting thing. These are the three facts that I need you to take down. So first let's pretend that BD, BD, which is this whole median right here, BD is equal to 9. Okay, let's call it 9 inches. Well, the first thing I know is this smaller segment, the point that goes from the centroid to the side of the triangle, that, that portion of the median, that's going to be one-third the total median. So GD is equal to one-third the total median, which is BD. So if the whole thing is nine, GD is going to be one-third of that, which is just three. Now the second fact that we need to know is the point from the vertex to the centroid or this bigger piece right here, BG, that's two-thirds of the total median. So BG is equal to two-thirds the total median, BD. So if the whole thing is nine and this is two-thirds, this would be six. Two-thirds, one-third, and that makes sense because they add up to nine, which is the total segment. And finally, this is our last point, and you can see it right here. We know that DG, right, is half of BG. Or another way to say that would be that two times the smaller segment, and that's the segment that joins the centroid to the side, so two times DG, or GD, is equal to BG. So two times the smaller segment would be six, so two times the smaller segment is always equal to the bigger segment. That's the facts you gotta know for this lesson. What's a midpoint, I mean, what's a median, what's a centroid, and you're good to go. So now that we got that down, let's practice some questions. Well, the first one is that AC is the median of triangle ABD. All right, if DC equals four, what is the length of DB? Well, it's good to mark things down. So if AC is the median, we know that C is the midpoint, and that means DC is congruent to CB. Now this problem tells us that DC is equal to 4. So this segment right here is equal to 4. We want to find DB, which is the whole thing. And you might remember this from lesson 1.3. We talked about midpoints. If this is 4 and this is congruent to it, this is also 4. And to find the whole length, we just add these together, and 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Sweet! Got that out of the way. Nice job. Now the second one we're going to talk about is right here. HK and LI are medians in triangle LJH, and HK equals 6. What is the length of PK, and what is the length of HP? Okay, well HK, all right, HK and LI are our medians. So I like to just mark these 
So this is congruent to this, and we know this is congruent to this because i and k are midpoints. Now we also know that hk is equal to 6. So this whole thing right here is equal to 6. We want to find the length of pk, which is right over here, and we want to find the length of hp. Well, if you remember, this point, this segment that joins the, the centroid to the side, or this smaller segment right here, is equal to one-third of the whole thing. So what we do to find pk, which is the smaller segment, we just do 6 times one-third. And that gives us, well, 6 times a third is 2. One-third of 6 is 2. So this would be 2 right over here. Now we want to find the length of HP, and HP is the line segment that joins the vertex to the centroid, all right? And that's the longer segment. And we remember that that's two-thirds of the total median. So to find HP, we just do six times two-thirds, which equals four. All right, so HP is four. And does this make sense? If this smaller segment is two and this is four, does that add up to six? Yes. And is 4 twice uh, the amount of 2? Yes. Well, we did it. Perfectly done. Okay, moving on. XB, CY, and AZ are all medians of triangle XYZ. If we know BD is equal to 7, BD right here, what is the length of DX? And DX is right here. All right? So db is equal to 7. Now, let's see if we remember what we learned about. The, oh, what did we learn about the smaller part or the part that connects the centroid to the side versus the point that's the centroid to the vertex? Well, we're going to know this. 2 times the smaller part, db, is equal to the bigger part, dx. So 2 of the smaller, which is db, is equal to the bigger part, dx. So we know that db is equal to 7, all right? And so that means dx would be equal to 14. See, dx is just twice the length of the smaller part. Second part, if we know dz, and hold on, let me clear out all this ink for us, to, all right? If we know dz is 12 and dz is the vertex to the centroid, what is AD? And that's the smaller part. DZ is 12. What is the length of AD? So if DZ is 12, I know that AD, which is the smaller part, is going to be half of 12. So to find this out, I know all I have to do is 12 divided by 2, and that gives me 6. So this smaller part right here is 6. All right, to fill that all in, 7, 14. This is half of this, and 6 and 12, AD is half of DZ. Okay, in this example, we know EZ, NO, and LO are all medians of triangle EIO. If DZ equals 4x plus 20 and ED equals 10x minus 8, what is the value of X? Well, let's look at this. DZ, which is the part that connects the centroid to the side, or the smaller part, is 4x plus 20. And ED, which is the bigger part that connects the vertex to the centroid, is 10x minus 8. We want to find the value of x. And to do that, you always have to set up an equation. And the equation that we can set up here is that 2 times the smaller segment, or 2 times dz, which is the part that goes from the centroid to the side, is equal to the larger segment, which is de. Well, to solve this, let's just sub substitute our values in. So this is 2 times 4x plus 20 is equal to 10x minus 8. We distribute this out. We get 8x plus 20 is equal to 10x minus 8. Let's continue solving. Line down the middle. Let's subtract 8x from both sides. When we do so, boom, that cancels out. 20. Hopefully you're following along. 2x minus 8. We're going to add an 8 to both sides. Boom, 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 bow, boom. Well, that's about 8. Cancels. 2x is equal to 28. And finally, let's, let's divide by 2. 
the war is over, x is equal to 14. All right, we did it. Second part, if di, you know what, let's get rid of all that. Please copy that down. All right, second part. If di, which is over here, this is the larger, larger part, is equal to 8x plus 8y plus 12, and dn is equal to 2y plus 30, that's this part right here, from here to here, 2y plus 30, what is the length of dn? Now that's an interesting question. You might just say to yourself, it's 2y plus 30, because that's what it says dn is, but that's not correct. We have to find out what y is, plug it in, and that will tell us the length of dn. So you know what, let's give it a shot. First, let's set up our equation. And we know that two times the smaller segment, or the segment that joins the centroid to the side, I know I keep saying it, is equal to the larger segment, which is the point that joins the centroid to the vertex, and that's 8y plus 12. Oh, or di. All right, so we substitute what dn is. So it's two times 2y plus 30, is equal to 8y plus 12. Let's go into solving mode. Boom, distribute out our two. We get 4y plus 60 is equal to 8y plus 12. Subtract 4y from both sides. We're subtracting our 4y's. Boom, bang. Bring down the 60. We get 4, this equals 4y plus 12. We're gonna subtract 12 from both sides. Oh my God, we're cruising. And 4y, is equal to 48. Divide both sides by four, and we get y is equal to 12. Now we're not done, because the question says, what is the length of dn? And you guys might have been sliding with this before, but when it says, what's the length of dn, you better be answering what the length of dn is. So to find that out, we have to finally plug it in. So dn is equal to 8y plus 12. We're gonna plug in what we found out y was, which was, 12, so it's 8 times 12 plus 12, and so dn is equal to 96 plus 12, which is equal to 108. Okay, for our final problem, we're going to be finding the centroid of triangle ABC. Now let's read our question. Triangle ABC has coordinates A, negative 7, negative 6, B, negative 8, 0, and C, 0, 0. Let's find the coordinate of the centroid. Well, if we're doing coordinate ge geometry, I think the first thing to do is always start by drawing your points. So A is negative seven, negative six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our first point, label it A. B is negative eight, zero. So that would be right here, we'll label that B. And we have Z, C, which is zero, zero, which is right here, and let's connect those sides. Boop, boop, boop. And now we got our triangle. Now our goal is to find the centroid. And as you remember, the definition of a centroid is the point where all three medians meet. And medians connect the vertex to the midpoint of a triangle. So to do this, we probably have to find the midpoints of each of our sides. And as you can see right here, Step two, find the midpoint of each of the sides. So if you have to look this up in lesson 3.5, to find the midpoint, use this formula, x2, or x1 plus x2 over two, comma y1 plus y2 over two. You just add your x coordinates divided by two and add your y coordinates divided by two, and that is going to give you your midpoint. So first let's start with side AB, which is right here. Let's find our midpoint. So our x coordinates are negative seven plus negative eight over two, and our y coordinates are negative six plus zero over two. When you put this in your calculator or figure it out, you should get negative 7.5 comma negative three. So let's figure this out. Where is our midpoint? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven point five, which is right in the middle of seven and eight and then we go down three, one, two, three. And so that is right over here. Perfect, all right? That is our first midpoint. You know what, let's label it. We'll just call it D. That is our first midpoint of AB. Let's find our second midpoint, that is BC. So we're gonna use our coordinates for B and C. So if we add our X's, that's negative eight 
plus 0. All right, negative 8 plus 0 divided by 2. Let's add our y's. That would be 0 plus 0 divided by 2. And when we do this in the calculator, our point is going to be negative 4, 0. That is our second midpoint of BC, which is over here. So negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Set. And now we'll find our third midpoint of AC, A and C. So once again, we're going to add this up. So our x's are negative 7 and 0, plus 0, divided by 2. And our y is negative 6 plus 0, divided by 2. Our midpoint here should be negative 3.5, comma, negative 3. Let's find that, negative 3.5, 1, 2, 3, point 0.5, and down 3, 1, 2, 3. And there it is, right in the middle. Perfect. Final step. We're going to connect our vertexes to our midpoints. So let's start over here. We're going to start with A. We're going to take our vertex and go to the midpoint to right over here. Good. Let's start with our second vertex, the midpoint. So we're going to go from B to our second midpoint, which is right over here. And you're starting to see these are converging on a point. And finally, we're going to go from our third vertex, C, to our other midpoint, and look at that. They all land on a single point, which is right here in the middle. And if you count that out, this point, that is our centroid, right there in the middle where the three medians meet, and that would be one, two, three, four, five. All right, so our x is negative five, and our y is negative two. Negative five, negative two, and that is how it's done. All right, this video has gone on too long. Here's a point of advice to you guys. If you have a girlfriend, treat her right every single minute of every single day. Trust me, it's to your benefit. Bye.